what I really want to talk about is getting 90% complete is the easy part. Getting the motor in, um, even your batteries, getting them mounted up is a little bit, but it's that latest push to get it to be an actually working street legal uh, electric bike. Um, and that requires some relocating of things. And I wanted to show you how to plastic weld. I think it's a something that is absolutely pertinent if you're gonna do this and it's so easy. So I'm gonna show you. I'm relocating this that was on a bracket. So what I did was I cut off this from the bracket. There's the bracket with the fuse and all. It was that piece that sits on the side. And what I'm gonna do is plastic weld this over to here so I can just screw this in directly to there without messing anything up. So I'm gonna try to get the camera angle right so you can watch it happen. All you need is a soldering gun. That's it. So I gotta let this heat up. All right, so I put a little mark where um, this needs to be. But all you do is take the soldering iron and mix the existing plastic with the plastics there. You have to use similar plastics. So if you're using it off of the stock, the stock bike, it should all be the same plastic and work really well. And if you wanna make it look pretty, you can use some plastic JB Weld, put it on there and um, smooth it out this works for fairings and everything and it'll be just as strong as it was before don't really look at those kits that have the additional um, like rods and stuff because a lot of times those don't have the same plastics and you don't know what exactly plastics are on here what combination they're using so it has to be the same plastic so it doesn't bond as well. And what you're doing is pretty much just mixing it up. If you have a piece of extra fairing layer around or a similar one, you actually can cut it up and cut that into sticks and use that if you want to. And I'm going to show you how strong this is in a second and how fast this takes, but imagine being able to do this and fix little issues and fairings instead of buying new fairings for everything. There we go. You don't want to let that dry off or cool down any? <sighs> I don't know if you guys saw that or were able to see that. But now, you can see how that's on there. And like I said, if you want, you can sand it down, put some JB uh, plastic JB weld on there or plastic epoxy and literally just like a um, car using Bondo you can just smooth it out and shave it down but for this being on the inside I'm not too worried about it and like I said this is to relocate the um, uh, sorry I just want to hook it all up so you can see how it actually works So now 
it's gonna look almost stock when you're looking at the bike and someone's checking it out to be able to just screw this in. There you go. It's not going anywhere. So, just a little tidbit of information for you and a little new skill you can play with. Um, anything. All these fairings can all be plastic welded. You can do it to the inside. So if you have a fairing that's cracked, uh, for example, I'll post it in a little bit when I do it. But this is a... Uh, triumph and there's damage there so all i need to do is cut this out this little square piece here i'm going to get another piece of um plastic off of another stock bike uh stock bearing and i'm going to plastic weld it back in cover it in a, a plastic epoxy sand it down and then just get this one thing repainted or even repaint it yourself i mean painting plastics isn't ridiculously hard and for the cost you're saving it's definitely worth it you're not going to find anything to match perfectly anyway um but i mean you'll see what i'm talking about so it'll save you a lot of money and a lot of time and it's just a great skill to have so as i'm finishing up the build of the electric ninja which like i said i want to take out today i'll have everything wired up I got the side lights on. Um, these are not the stock ones, they're Z-Bay ones. Front end's on. I bought some more of this mesh because the mesh is going to go all up here in these little blocks here. And it's going to come around here and I'm going to cut it out right here so you actually see this little motor. Uh, haven't run into any heating problems and I was blasting it yesterday debating cutting off this whole piece here and just deleting this back plastic bumper um not sure though because i kind of want to keep it as stock as possible so nobody really knows what it is until i'm pulling up we got the sound system going and they uh are like what the so as far as the gauges go like i said the gauge for the uh miles per hour work RPM gauge does not work. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to hook that up. I'm going to replace this, but again, with those plastic welding skills that I just showed you, um, I'm probably going to plastic weld a cover that goes here, up, and around, and replace this here with gauges that I actually need. So I'm going to have an engine temperature gauge. Um, the neutral turn signal I'll need. Uh, the oil temperature I don't need. So I'll probably hook that into something else. I don't know, I'm not even hook it into it, but just um, probably get a sticker on it and change that. But everything else is gonna be used. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here because I'm gonna replace this gauge. I need a voltmeter. If I can get the RPM meter, which I know I can, it's just digital, which I was trying to get all analog just to keep with it. Um, and same thing with the voltage. I was trying to get an analog voltage meter, but they really don't go up that high, just to look cool. I saw some for a um, forklift, but I don't necessarily like the way it looks. I don't know if it'll fit well, but we'll see. And then the key, they sell different key kits for electric ones. It's gonna look exactly stock like this one over here. I replaced this whole system here. Comes with the key, turns on. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Next, you'll see a ride. I'm gonna go for about uh, 40 miles. Um, see where we get.